Hi, Robin. Hi. I have been a big fan of yours ever since the Forrest Gump days. Oh. And this, you're making your directorial debut in this film, which is, is amazing. I loved it. Land, tell me what inspired you to tell the story. I received the script about two and a half, three years ago when we were all experiencing the, the random shootings almost bi-weekly. And I just, it was killing us. How did these poor people get through times like that? Like, how, how do you find your way? And this movie is about just that. It's about one person's journey through grief and what she chooses to do to try to find a new self. Um, and then ultimately it's about resilience through the kindness of human beings. Yeah. And we need each other. We need others to help us through difficult times. And I just loved that that was the message as opposed to the ugliness that was going on in the world and the social media and the encouragement of being mean. You know, there was oh, yeah. people encouraging that more and more. And I just wanted to make a movie about human kindness. It's coming out at such a good time. I think we could all use some of that. I mean, this is, you're taking like unplugging to the extreme. You know, why do you think it's important to just, you know, drop these, drop our cell phones, maybe turn off the news for a little bit and reconnect with ourselves? Why do you think that's so important, especially right now? I think that is, it's all a distraction, mm -hmm. whether it's for work or not. If you're distracting with all of the gadgets and the devices and the things and the list of things that you have to do and to just become at one with that silence. Mm -hmm. And if you could erase things, it's a meditation and nature gives you that. Nature is such a, a healing property. Ooh, and what better place to, I mean, this was Al, the mountains of Alberta, Canada for 29 days you guys shot. What was that whole experience like for you? It was incredible because we were actually living the movie we were filming. Um, we chose to build the cabin on top of the mountain, 8,000 feet up and deal with the elements versus having the cabin built on a stage, you know? We wanted to feel the authenticity. Nature is a character in this movie and you needed to feel it and feel the cold and see the breath. That was all real. <laughs> oh, yeah. And our, our DP actually lived in uh, the cabin. No kidding. He slept, in, he slept in my character sleeping bag every night so that he could capture in the middle of the night, if necessary, or sunrise, sunsets, rain, sleet, snow, all of those Vista shots is because he stayed in that cabin with that camera on his shoulder all the time. I mean, I have to say mother nature beat you up in the very beginning of this movie, but I mean, after a while she adapts. And I, did you know how to do any of those things in your own life before this experience? And do you know how to do them now? Hunting, fishing, trapping and all that. Definitely Damien Bashir and I could live off the grid now because we had a mountain man teach us how to do all those things properly. <laughs> I'm, uh, he, you know, he, the guy said to him, well, you don't want to miss when you, and Damien says, well, what would happen if I missed hitting the log? He's like, well, you'd probably cut your leg off. So you don't want to do that. <laughs> it's a lot tougher than it looks. It really is. It's not easy. And you do get blisters instantly. Oh, uh, <laughs> I mean, I have to give it to you for sure. Uh, you know, Edie's relationship with Miguel really helped her in her healing process. Is there anybody in your own life who you've turned to to get you through a really tough time? Oh, of course, we all have those people in our life. Um, and what a blessing. And it, we, all, we always have to have the help of another, I think. Yes, being alone, being with yourself. But I think ultimately... It's, it's the kindness and compassion of, of another human being that pulls you through difficult times. I agree 100% with that. Now you, okay, turning to something a little bit different, you play a president in House of Cards, and now that we have a female VP, are you hopeful that this is more than just a storyline that we see on TV now? Are you hopeful for the future in that regard? Absolutely, and I'm gonna manifest it. I think yeah. we all should manifest that it, it should happen. Yeah. What else are you manifesting for 2021? That uh, this vaccine 
plural vaccines work um, and this pandemic uh, departs and life can get back to normal and and people can heal yeah. from this time. I want to ask you about Sean Penn because he has his core foundation. He's been really working, you know, to, to help people, you know, get tested and everything like that. You've got to be, you've got to be proud. It's incredible what they, they've done. Um, and my kids are actually working there because nobody can get a job right now. Um, and now they're, they're actually distributing vaccines. I love that. So kudos. Yeah. Incredible. Absolutely. What else do you have going on? I mean, I, I, you're, you're a very busy woman. What projects upcoming do you have for 2021? I get to go direct a couple of episodes of Ozark in a couple of months. Oh, wow. I well, can't that wait. I love that really show. Nice. That's exciting. So excited. Oh my gosh. I love that. All right. Well, thank you so much, Robin. I do appreciate thank your time. you. Take care. Congratulations. Bye. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.